Hi everyone, so this is the Flower Go Walk. I bought this off of Stock X. Um, I know it's also on eBay. So when you first start the pet, you name the flower. You also give it your name. You set the time as well as the language. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, when you first start the game, it actually goes through a tutorial. It tells you to go on a quest first which is going to different locations in the game. Uh, in order for you to go anywhere in the game, you actually have to walk. So for example, the hospital, uh, in case your flower gets sick, if you wanna get food, they're all about 200 steps. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's about um, one to two minutes of walking. Um, for the different destinations, let's just look at a few of them. We have school, you can see how many steps it will take to get to that location, the flower park. Um, you have different places that you unlock over time. I don't remember what the first one is. I believe it was like some cafe or something like that. And it was about 300 steps. So it's it st slowly starts to ramp you up. And then also it the, the steps per each location are a little different as well. So we're going to just s select a random location and then I'm going to walk around the house and I'll show you what happens. So as I was saying, as you keep walking, you start to run into events in the middle of your quest. We have our first one. It will notify you by a little sound and you will just hit the OK button and you'll see what happens. Sometimes you meet characters that will give you items. So what did this person give me? We got a donut. Then that can be added to our inventory so we can feed the flower uh, food later on. So as I was saying, as you keep playing, you will unlock locations. So when I first started playing, I was trying to figure out how to feed the flower or to let it play with toys. You have to wait for the tutorial to go through and then have it make you go to a store. And that is where you start to buy food and the items. I believe I started off with about 500 coins or something like that. So just to kind of give you a heads up, when you first start the game, you will not have the ability to feed or water your plants. Um, that comes as the gameplay progresses. So let's keep walking and head to our destination. So this is the second event uh, within 400 steps. Let's see what it is. It looks like a dog, I'm not sure. <laughs> and I got milk. How many more steps do I have left? We have 40, I'll be right back. Okay, so we reached our destination. The difference is that it is a star versus a exclamation point. So let's hit the OK button and see where we went to. We went to, I think it was the library. It goes through these little prompts. And then it takes a picture for a memory book. And you save it to the album. And you got an item as well. So sometimes you might meet another flower or you can cross pollinate. Uh, which I already did. Oh, I think we still, what is this? Dress up has been added to care. Menu, let's dress up with various items. So I think I'm able to put on those glasses. So this is what I mean by it unlocks things over time. So, and I just unlocked I want to get those glasses okay so we're gonna put those glasses on oh that's cute we're gonna wear those and there you go so this is um, pretty easy to play with so these are the memories and these are the different locations that I've been to uh, there are a hundred locations, but there are several of them here that I've already been to. I've had it for less than 24 hours. Um, here is the care. You can water, dress up, 
play touch and also feed your flower we can look at um, the vitals which is under status so you can see what the flower is missing so I need to water and I also need to play so the first one is a water droplet for watering second one is for happiness third is for flower uh, for food and I forgot what the last one is I need my guide I forgot what it was but pretty straightforward stuff um in terms of the gameplay very very easy like anybody would just be able to pick it up um the downside of this is that it does not have a clip it doesn't have clips so you can't clip it onto your pants or anything you do need to use like a lanyard or just like a keychain the pedometer is pretty sensitive that's the word i'm looking for it is pretty sensitive so that as you walk it actually picks up your steps so if i were to choose a location let's choose one and then see how easy it is to pick up the steps so it's 520 so here we only have three um i leave it in my pocket and i just walk around my house so that's what you can do another thing is that it takes double a batteries and yeah if there's any more questions let me know and maybe i can make a little quick video about it